when you prepare to go out of town for a, a weekend and a game or you prepare to go to the uh, downtown to a game, you, you probably put some ideas together and maybe you expect certain things to happen. But I'm going to guess you weren't thinking 30, uh, four touchdown passes in the first quarter by Baker Mayfield. No, not at all. I did not see that coming like that at all. If anything, uh, you know, I thought it would be a, you know, a fairly close game all the way through. I thought the Titans would probably pull it out in the end. Uh, I thought Derrick Henry was going to be just kind of a load to handle. And then I thought Ryan Tannehill would hit his shots with a Browns defense minus Denzel Ward, minus Ronnie Harrison. It just seemed like it was sort of set up for them. Uh, to win the game and they almost did i mean they came back and, and outscored the browns 28 to 3 in the second half but it was just too much to overcome yeah i don't think many people thought that it, that the uh, lead was going to change even though we got way too close for, for comfort after the fumble out there and by the way uh the fumble the fumble that took place and the way that the the browns ran it down they actually saved a touchdown on that and uh i'm talking about uh, kareem hunt he saved the touchdown, and uh, it would have been two scores that were needed instead of just one. And the way the way the Browns were a little disheartened, one might not have been. It might have been very possible. So it, it worked out as far as the Browns are concerned. But do you think that Baker Mayfield was set up to be the the man of the hour there, or it just things fell that way? Do you think Do you think the game plan called for him to be to have the game revolve around him? You know what I think that they planned to take advantage of the 28th ranked passing game. They knew that they could win their matchups. They knew they were gonna win their one-on-ones against uh, some you know, defensive backs that are, are challenged and some backup guys. Uh, they knew that there wasn't going to be any pressure and Baker thrives when he does not have pressure and when he is kept clean. So I, I never think that, I never thought they went into this game thinking it's just gonna be a, a ground fest. Uh, I always knew they were gonna take shots. Well, they took the shot uh, on, on the pass to Lamb. And by the way, Baker's missed some uh, passes in the end zone, high and low. This one, he put the per perfect touch on it. Obviously, nobody was guarding Lamb, but Kendall Lamb, but still, that he knew how to throw that football that time. Maybe not in the past, but he certainly knew yesterday. Yeah, he was playing confident yesterday. And when Baker Mayfield plays with confidence, he's accurate. Uh, that's when he doesn't get the sort of happy feet and he doesn't get nervous in the red zone when he is is confident and decisive you know he just sticks the foot in the ground and throws that ball and he makes the play and and that's who we saw yesterday well there's a guy who hasn't thrown an interception in a long time and that's one of the big reasons why the browns are where they're at right now yeah that has a lot to do with it uh he has 156 passes without an interception the last time he threw one was against cincinnati on that first play the one on which Odell Beckham Jr. suffered the torn ACL. Uh, that's been five, a span of since then uh, over six games. He now has their five and one in that span. He has 11 touchdowns, no interceptions, and a 115.5 rating in that span. 